Good day fellow DIYers and woodworkers. Today we're going to make some super simple D-track clamps. Check out the video. What we're going to need for today's project? Well, I've got some offcuts of uh, plywood 18mm and that's what I'm going to be using. On top of it, you're going to need some uh, T-bolts, but any other bolts will actually do. Um, I'm just going to use them because I've got them and obviously some star knobs to go on top. But again, you actually can make them. In the next video, I will show you how you can make your own um, star knobs super easy way. But today, just the clamps. So the first thing we need to do, cut these to the right sizes. In my case, the clamps will be 13 centimeters long by three and a half centimeters wide. And as I mentioned before, the plywood is 18 mil. And as you can see, I'm using my miter saw. Okay, so in the next step, we need to pre-drill some holes for the bolts themselves. But what we need to do, uh, rather than just drilling a straight hole, we need to give the bolt a bit of movement, a bit of leeway. So what we're going to do in this case, I'm going to use a 10mm force bit and basically drill the hole under an angle from both sides. That will give the bolt a bit of a wiggle room, uh, making sure that's in the correct position. So let's do that now. Okay, as we've got that sorted, now it's time for the first version of the clamps. Very simple. As you can see, that's the block sorted. And what I'm going to do now, I'm actually got these uh, strips of sandpaper, 120 grit, which I'm just going to glue on top of these blocks. What that will give me? And that will basically add an additional friction between the clamp and the clamping object it will basically be more stable. For a smooth operation of all the clamps, we're gonna need some dowels. In my case, they are uh, 11 millimeters in thickness, and we're just gonna pre-drill some holes so the bolts can go through. That will allow us to clamp the clamp correctly and easily under any angle. Right then, so let's carry on to version 2. In version 2, we will have the sandpaper on the block itself. But on top of it, um, we're actually going to have on the shorter side a piece of a larger dowel. In my case, my dowel is 3 centimeters in diameter. I'm going to cut it to the right length and I'm going to split it into half and glue it onto this piece of wood. So uh, let's crack on and do that right now. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got two versions of the T-Track clamps. As you can see, they're so simple to make. In my next video, I will show you a third option of these clamps and also how to make your own wooden knobs the really easy and simple way. But let's test these out and see if they actually work. It's not going anywhere. Again, super, super steady. Perfect. As you can see, they work absolutely fine and you won't have any issues with them. And they're dead easy to make. And all I use is some scraps I had lying about in my workshop, depending on the task I'm gonna need. So for example, if something thicker, I'm gonna use the one with the round foot at the bottom. If I've got something thinner, the flat bottom will do just fine. And remember that sandpaper is actually quite an important thing because it will give you an additional grip um, and structure uh, to your clamp. Obviously, there was a lot of you asking me many, many times, where did I get those clamps, these aluminium um, red clamps? I've picked them up for about eight British pounds on um, Banggood, I believe, or AliExpress, I can't really remember, but they were eight quid. So comparing eight quid to something really simple that you can make in your own garage for a fraction of the price really makes sense. Obviously, I've been using the plastic knobs, as you can see here, and a T-Track bolt. Again, you don't have to use that. Uh, next week, I'm going to show you a normal bolt that will work with a T-Track just fine and it costs a fraction of the price. And the star knobs, we're just going to make them from some scrap wood. Really simple and easy. So if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I do encourage you to press that subscribe button and then the bell notification, change it to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, if you did, drop me that like button down below. And if you are interested in any other of my uh, jigs or upgrades at my workshop, there should be a playlist just over here. Go and click it, have a look at all the videos I've got. But for me, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.